Prince is uncanny. <laughs> Hello everybody! Today we're talking about one of the most important plot points in a vast majority of novels, and that is the breaking point. I talked about the breaking point roughly a million years ago, but you guys still had a lot of really good questions, and that's why we're talking about it again today. I'm answering your top 10 questions about writing breaking points so you can crush your readers into oblivion in the most effective way possible. Before we get started, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community just for creators, whether you're a seasoned pro or a total newbie, doesn't matter, they've got classes for you. Tons of people come together on Skillshare in order to take their next step in creativity. They've got thousands of classes at all skill levels in design, illustration, web design, business, and of course, creative writing. Most classes are less than 60 minutes long, so they're super easy to work into your schedule. I like to use them as rewards once I have completed one of my writing goals. It's awesome. I'm also a teacher on Skillshare. I've got two classes all about digital marketing for writers. One is about how to grow your author platform. The other is my personal step-by-step -step process for releasing a book with little to no assistance. Skillshare has some goodies for you guys. Stick around until the end of this video for details. First, let's tackle your questions all about writing breaking points. And if you want any other writing advice, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post videos on Wednesdays. I also sprinkle around bonus videos from time to time, which is why you should totally ring that bell. It will alert you as soon as I upload. Number one, what the hell is a breaking point? The breaking point is the point in your novel where your main character breaks down. Something devastating happens. The MC is delivered a really hard blow, usually in relation to the goal they're trying to achieve, and they lose hope. A good breaking point is designed to upset the reader. They're either going to be angry and devastated alongside the MC, or they're going to be angry at the MC for giving up on their goal. Number two, how come I've never heard of a breaking point? If you've studied story structure, you probably have heard of the breaking point, but just don't know it, because it's not always referred to as the breaking point. Sometimes it's called the crisis, the black moment, all is lost, and so on. Different structures like to call it different things, but ultimately, it's basically the same shit, different name. Number three, what types of genres feature the breaking point? All of them. A lot of people assume breaking points are specific to adventure novels, especially if there's a hero involved, but breaking points are utilized across all fictional genres. In romance novels, the breaking point usually involves a breakup or a fight, or some type of estrangement. In crime fiction, the breaking point is usually when the lead detective is suspended or removed from a case. Remember, this is the lowest point for your character in that story. It doesn't have to be life or death if the stakes aren't that high. Basically, if your book is fiction, it can and probably should feature a breaking point. Number four, when does the breaking point occur? The breaking point almost always occurs toward the end of the book before the climax. If you're using the three act structure, the breaking point is often referred to as the break into act three. The climax is usually the most adrenalized moment in the book. So having your character transition from being completely hopeless to working their ass off to achieve their goal is very appealing to the reader. Your character is at rock bottom and has to climb their way to the peak of that climax. Right, Byers, look at you, you're so, you're so smart. You're just taking in all the information so you can write your own book. What's it gonna be about? Is it gonna be about kisses? Number five, why is the breaking point so important? The breaking point is often cited as one of the most important plot points because all that drama and emotion will make the main character's inevitable triumph, AKA the climax and resolution, all the more satisfying. Typically, as a story progresses, your character gets closer and closer toward achieving their goal. If all they experience are wins along the way, it's not really emotionally impactful, nor is it relatable. The breaking point gives your main character a massive fail right before they go up against their goal in theory for the last time. This ups your stakes to the highest level, which is exactly what you want right before the climax. Additionally, if your character succeeds during the climax and achieves their goal, it will feel a lot more deserved thanks to the breaking point. We don't enjoy media where things come easily because again, we can't relate. Struggle, effort, and tenacity makes a character's triumph 
feel earned. The breaking point does double duty for the author because it's both emotionally devastating for the reader as well as planting seeds toward an epic climax. Number six, how do I choose my character's breaking point? Again, the breaking point is your character's lowest point within the story. So given everything you know about the plot and the character, ask yourself, What's the absolute worst thing that could happen to them? This is why romances often feature a breakup or estrangement as the breaking point. The story revolves around a relationship, so taking that away is devastating. Looking at crime novels, if a detective is passionate about a case and so close to solving it, and then is suddenly kicked off the case and fired, that's going to be a huge blow, not only to their career, but also emotionally. Death is also a breaking point. For example, the main character's friend or family member dies, especially if it's partly their fault. Ultimately, the breaking point you choose is going to depend on the character in question, the plot you're writing, and the trajectory of your story. Number seven, how is my character supposed to react? Well, they're supposed to break. Obviously. The reader needs to see the character at a new emotional low in the story. This could be sadness, anger, depression, even rage. How they initially react is going to depend on the context, but typically the MC reacts poorly. For example, in hero stories, especially ones that involve a team, the MC often quits. I don't want to play anymore. They lose hope and thus don't believe in the cause anymore or don't believe that their goal is achievable. However, after a bit of time in their funk, another plot point happens that reminds them why they joined this cause in the first place or reignites their desire to achieve their goal. Using the hero example, it could be an attack from the enemy or seeing more innocent lives lives lost. They realize they can't abandon their goal and suit up yet again. Think of the breaking point as the ashes your Phoenix character must rise from. Number eight, what makes a good breaking point? Usually a good breaking point is linked to the plot or goal of the story. If your character is trying to solve a murder case and their breaking point is the death of their father from cancer, that's sad as hell, but it has nothing to do with the plot. However, if their father is killed by the murderer in question, that's a lot more effective because it's directly related to the plot, plus it'll evoke a lot of guilt in the MC. They took the case and thus they put their father at risk. And as we've covered, a good breaking point needs to be both emotional for the reader and the character. The MC needs to have some kind of emotional reaction that's both relevant to the situation as well as keeping within their character. That means if your character has been nothing but a soft, spongy cinnamon roll throughout the entire story and their breaking point throws them into a violent rage, that's gonna be a hard sell. But anger, tears, or angry tears could totally work depending on the context. Number nine, I'm still struggling to understand breaking points. How can I fix this? The easiest way to understand how to write a good breaking point is to research breaking points. That means you gotta read some books and watch some movies with a writer's eye. If you need baby steps, start with Disney movies. There is a breaking point in literally every single Disney movie that I've seen because again, they're very effective. In Aladdin, the breaking point is when Jafar exposes Aladdin as a liar and shoots him off into the desert. So Ali turns out to be merely Aladdin. In Beauty and the Beast, it's when Belle leaves the castle and the beast falls into a depression. Watch these movies, then work your way up to more complex content and search for the breaking points. How are they written? What causes the breaking points? How are the characters reacting? And more specifically, which breaking points did you find most impactful and why? And number 10, do I have to write a breaking point? You don't have to do anything. You can take a dump on a piece of paper and call it a manuscript for all I care. But the breaking point is a pivotal part of story structure and more often than not, it plays a vital role toward making the climax and resolution satisfying and effective. You may be able to name some older works that don't have breaking points, but keep in mind, storytelling expectations change over the years. It's never a good idea to compare yourself to an author from a hundred years ago. Outside of stories from yesteryear, I personally can't think of a fictional novel that I've read that didn't have a breaking point. I'm sure they exist somewhere, I just haven't found them yet. So that's 
that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you're looking to take the next step in your creativity and learn some new skills, I highly recommend Skillshare. Skillshare is super affordable. An annual subscription is less than 10 bucks a month. However, right now you can get two months of Skillshare premium for free by clicking the link below. That's two months of access to thousands of classes, including my classes, and it's all completely free, but only the first 500 people who click the link are gonna get it. So be sure to click, get on it, do it, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos on Wednesdays, and if you wanna be alerted as soon as I upload, ring that bell. The Savior's Champion is available in ebook, paperback, hardback, signed hardback, as well as audiobook. If you're new to audiobooks, you can listen to TSC on Audible for free. I have all the info below. And be sure to follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Tumblr, Facebook, and of course, you can tweet me at Jenna Moresi. Bye. This is Vrondi's. Why the fuck haven't you subscribed to Jenna's channel? Do you really want to face me? If you don't do it, you know what will happen. I'll rip out your tongue, torture you, then leave your rotten corpse out for the birds to feast on it. Now press the goddamn button. And the bell too.